In this video, I want to show you how you can draw bar graph and histogram using Excel. Now, if you want to open the spreadsheet that I'm going to use, or the Excel spreadsheet, first, this is a Google page, Google CHBC. This is Central Hawkesbury College. And you click on this icon, Central Hawkesbury College. And on the left, you can see Open Evening. Click on that and then click on open evening spreadsheet. Okay, and this is opening up. And if you go on file, click on file and click on download. If you download it, so this is the document. So you need to open it, click on that, left click. And this is a spreadsheet that I'm talking about. First, you need to enable editing. Click on that. So now this is the full spreadsheet one. This is for pie graph. And this is for histogram, the same data. And this is for practice. This is days of the week and number of eggs given by uh, eggs in a poultry farm. Uh, and this is the histogram. You can practice this. So let's start with a pie graph. Now, before I show you how you can draw pie graph, okay, so one thing that Excel does is it can add, it can multiply, it can divide by just click of a button. So if I want to do the total of this, this is 40 plus 20 is 60, 65, 75, uh, and 25 is 100. But if you want to do the total, uh, click on this and go equal sum. Sum means addition. Start with a bracket and highlight the cells you want to add. And close the bracket. You don't need to close the bracket. And so this is 100. Okay. Now if you want to, so let me cancel this. We don't need this to draw graph. Now to draw pie graph, you first need to highlight both the columns. Click on insert and click on pi. And let's go click on this first graph. So this is the pi graph. Okay, so let me make this smaller. Now uh, let's this is the title is not appropriate, so let's change the title. So if you click on, so let me drag it down and then let me remove it. So this is the pi graph of this is the pi graph of favorite favorite fruit of 100 people. Now this font is too big. You can highlight it like this. Highlight it. Go to home and change the font to say 11. And you can unbold it. So this is the title. Okay, now, yeah. Okay, so you, you can also add percentage. So let me talk about percentages. So just looking at the, these numbers, the total we know is 100. So I hope you, you know this is 40%, this is 20% and so on, because percent is out of 100. Now Excel does it for you. Okay, so this is 40%, slightly less than 50%. So click on the graph, click on the graph, add labels. And so the numbers will come there. So you can drag these numbers out like this. And I also want to write uh, this as a percent. Uh, I have taken numbers so that they are neat numbers. So this 40 would be 40% because it is 40 out of 100. So if you want to add percent along with the numbers, click left click and then right click. Uh, format data and then you add click check this in or click on and then close it so this is the percent so this is 40 is 40 percent and so on so this is a pie graph of favorite fruit of 100 people and you can do this so smartly and so easily okay so if you want to draw a histogram of the same data the same thing is highlight it Go on insert column and let me click on the second icon. So 
So this is the histogram. So let me make it smaller and then let me change the title. So this is, this graph is called, uh, let me, so this is the histogram. This is histogram, histogram of favorite, favorite fruit of 100, 100 people. Now this font by default is big, so you can highlight it. Go to home, unbold it, change the font to 11. So and then you can drag this up. Okay, so and you can remove this. And you can also remove the GERD lines. Click on the GERD lines and then delete it. Okay, now what, what else can we do? Any graph should have a, you should label the axis. That's one thing the teachers tell you. Always label the axis. So I want to label this as favorite fruit and this is the number of people. Okay, now before I that, I can add the numbers here. So again, the same thing, right click, add data labels. And see here we go we get the numbers you can drag this out so let me put it out like this okay and then this is okay and now I want to label this as the x-axis is a favorite fruit and this is the number of people. So click anywhere on the graph, highlight the graph, go to layout and go to axis title. And the x-axis, the horizontal axis is called, the, or x-axis is the horizontal axis and click on this title below the axis and then you can lean on the x-axis, on the horizontal axis we have taken the favorite is that right yeah and on the y-axis again go to axis title vertical and say let us uh, type in like this so this is you can also click on this and type in this is the number of people and there we go so this is the graph so yeah on the x-axis you've got number of people on x sorry y-axis you've got number of people on x-axis you've got fruit and this is the histogram okay so i want you to practice this yourself for pie graph and this is a histogram that you can do yourself